and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more mono black control. That's right, we played this list just three days ago, but I am gonna go ahead and play it again right now because it was just so much fun to play. As I labeled the, the video um, on YouTube, I said it was officially my favorite deck in standard. And it is, it's just a deck that I like playing a lot and, and I wanna give it some more try here. And I have been playing, the two times I've played it, I've played it in the traditional constructed queue. Today, we're gonna go ahead and take it on over to ranked and see how it does over there in the ranked queues. Um, you know, give our first ranked test here with our mono black control list. So what we have, of course, I mean, that's it's pretty self-explanatory, mono black control, <laughs> what we have. Um, you know, lots of removal. We got some sweepers here with Cry, Ritual of Soot. We have um, some various removal spells that can be good in, in certain situations, but then a lot of cast downs. And we have our, our Planeswalkers that help get, get us our card advantage. We have our our Scion of Urzas um, that just get us a whole bunch of cards. Our great creators that uh, get these awesome artifacts from our uh, graveyard. It's definitely a sideboard, not a graveyard. My bad. From our sideboard. And uh, Helm of the Host here is kind of like our most important one. That's how we usually win games is Helm of the Host copying stuff and our opponents eventually giving up. Um, and then we have our Liliana and our Ugin, just two very solid six mana Planeswalkers. But the two cards that are not removal or Planeswalkers, our two creatures are just cards that I really, really like. We have Golos. Um, you know, this gets to go put Cabal Stronghold into play to be able to get us a whole lot of mana. And it pairs with the Chromatic Lantern. We got one in the main that we could draw, and we have one in the sideboard that we can grab with the Great Creator um, to be able to use that ability to be able to get us card advantage. And we have my favorite card in the deck, one of my favorite cards in M20, Dread Presence. Just a sweet card. Um, ever, like, this is the reason, of course, to be mono black. Every swamp we play either draws cards or is removal. Um, so there we go. That's that's our deck and everything. You need you need a replacement for Scion of Urza. I'd probably play a fourth Dread Presence and a fourth Karn the Great Creator. I would just play yeah, I would just put a fourth of each of those in if you if you don't have Karn Scion of Urza. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna play in rank today. We're gonna play five matches and see how it see how it does, see what our record is like in ranked. Um the it's it's a new month, so the season reset. So we're not mythic anymore. We're we're back down to platinum. What is this thing? You have to play a game. Yeah, that's what we're about to do. We're gonna go play some games. Um, I have faced worse than the likes. We're like a Karn. Let's get a Karn avatar in here. So here we go. Let's work our way back up to mythic with mono black control. Yeah, four four dress main deck is good against everybody. <laughs> like there's not decks that dress is bad against. Um, and it gives us a really cheap spell to be able to double spell with duress plus other things. See, this is just a cool looking deck. <laughs> yeah, we do have an epic, epic song playing here also. Muse, Knights of Cydonia. We need our lucky black cat. Basic planes. Big ha! I knew it. I was, I did, I uh, just didn't say it in time, but what I was gonna say is I bet this is vampires. And so I gave them another. Gave them another draw step to look for Soren. Because I want to hit Soren. Alright, so Champion and Sanctum Seeker are going to be annoying. They do need to draw another Swamp before they can play either. Are you kidding me? If you threaten Innistrad, I will. That's why I waited a turn for duress to like take sword and sword was on top. Ugh. Gross.
Hmm. Man, that's really rough. Yep, looks like Deckmaster is still dead. It wasn't working yesterday either. It looks like it's not working again today. Wow. I found to nothing beyond my own obligation. My bloodline flows through you. Okay. I definitely want more Legion's Ends. The the more expensive creatures, like, those are the, like, the Champion of the Dusk is a card that's a problem. Hmm. I don't know if this is actually a Duress matchup, though. I think I may take those out. I even want the third ritual of soot. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, spyglass is good here. I do like spyglass. I want to keep one in the the sideboard to be able to grab with Karn, and I'll have one in the main deck, and that can take out my four duress there. I'm not sure about playing the Cry of the Carnariums. I'm not sure if I want Duress over Cry. Hey, what's up, Parappa? I'm gonna go with this. No, Mortify does not destroy artifacts. Thank you so much for that uh, continued support there, Parappa, saying keep up the great deck breeze. Thank you very much. The only new deck that I have for today is the Abzan Hero that we'll be finishing up today's stream with. <laughs> Angry Ben, I think your cat's laying on your keyboard. See, I don't think I really need an upkeep stop. Okay. Adanta Vanguard changes things, though, because I do need to find something that actually gets rid of Adanta Vanguard. Which that does not. And cry the carnarium. Darn. Hmm. 
<laughs> Thanks, Elijah. Well, not looking so good for us. Definitely wish Elder Spell was instant speed, no which I could use this this mana here just to destroy the Ajani. That'd make my life easier. But maybe we'll draw Cry of the Carnarium here. Return to the fight. Cry of the Carnarium. No. Right, so using my treasures right away, but you know, trying to trying to stabilize. Why did that have that card? Ugh, why that card? So let's see. Karn can have four mana. All right, so we're gonna grab Spyglass. My allies are counting on me. Just, just more Champion of Dusks? You gotta be kidding me. Gonna be difficult to win. <laughs> Jamie the Dusk is pretty good. And that's game. All right, starting off with a loss. Playing the control deck against vampires can certainly be tough. You need your cards to line up, and my cards did not line up. The game I had Legion's End and Cry of the Carnarium, game one, was like the cards I needed in games two, in games two, but game one, they had like the Soren and I had, you know, I had like the Elder Spells and stuff in game two. Needed those games to kind of switch.
but Vampires is a really good deck. And that Champion of the Dust card. Very hard to beat. With my specific deck. Blood Crypt. Is this Grixis? Looks like it. Um. My prowess. I have just the trick for this. I was not prepared for this. Rampage is definitely annoying. Well, my hand doesn't do anything now. So Grixis... What Grixis really has against us that... Um, that's good. That Esper doesn't... That's not even good because of Rampage. Is they have good artifact removal. And with our our deck's kind of based on artifacts, so having good efficient artifact removal with like Angrass Rampage and everything. Uh the devil. I will spare you. In exchange for I will return one day. Well, I've played my I've played my fair share of Grixis Control in my day. Definitely like me some Grixis Control. And whenever you have Nickel Bolas Dragon God on turn five, your deck is miles better than whenever you haven't been drawing your Nickel Bolas Dragon God. So this will be tough to beat. But we got lucky. We found found a removal spell. I have other schemes to See if they have another to. one. See if they kill my treasure map. Hey, Caesar. There goes the treasure map. Yeah, glad you're enjoying the Vanfar. You uh, enjoyed the Vanfar deck. That one, really like that one too. Okay. It's not good. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. It's not too hot for you. It's not good at all. I guess I should keep a swamp in hand for. Let's see, four, five. No, because I need to put three three counters on, so I need this. Never mind. I need it. Is it just me? Yeah, this duress card has here? been really, really bad for us. <laughs> Last match and this match. The two times we've drawn duress, both times we play it. They don't really have anything. We just take a, a three-mana removal spell, and then immediately they draw a game-breaking Planeswalker for the next draw step. I would say that is not... It's not what we want our duress to be doing.
That's a good draw. Yeah, Kefnet's kind of legendary over there. <laughs> no, these are not good removal spells against Grixis. Yep. Legendary, toughness, or CMC is greater than two. Toughness is greater than two. Oh, my, I mean, I'll admit, my deck is not built with the removal spells in mind to try to beat Grixis. So if we look, we have, like, you know, Cast Downs, Legion's End, Noxious, Grasp, Cry of the Carnariums, Ritual of Soots. None of these cards do a darn thing. So that's basically, basically all my cards. And they have good artifact removal. I mean, I could just take the Karns out and then not have any... Not have any uh, artifacts in my sideboard. This is like the worst possible case scenario for us. That is not... That is not what we want at all in our deck. This is this is really bad for us. I'd much rather be playing Karn the Great Creator and then not playing these cards, but I have to put cards in my deck and these are just all dead. The only thing is like our opponent could have War Boss or Thief of Sanity. So maybe I can keep some of these and just hope they have those cards. Um, oh crap, I'm running out of time. I took too, too long to say that. What is wrong? Get something in here. Submit. <laughs> I was kind of displaying the, the problems with our, our deck there and kind of took too long. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that our opponent's playing a good deck and that's a weakness of ours. I wouldn't say that at all. Let's say that I, I have my my deck um, kind of tuned with some of the, the t top decks of the format in mind with the removal spell choices that I have, have picked and everything. And Grixis Control admittedly is not on that list. I did put Karn back in the deck. Karn is exactly where it's supposed to be. I 
Sorry, you may regret that choice. Yeah, a couple days ago I got my hair cut. But whenever I took the day off of streaming, I went and got my hair cut. I mean to do that for a little while. Don't think I really need to upkeep stop here because I really just want land and I guess to say that's we we're likely drawing land. <laughs> there is great power in the feet. Yep, playing my favorite deck here, Mono Black Control. Haven't haven't started off strong. We've lost our first three games, but we are looking okay in this game. So they shocked in there. Shocked in for negate. Okay. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. See if they want to chump block, chump block with a Kefnet. There you go, the Scion of Urza. Making a bunch of 6-6s. Six I don't have very good artifacts to grab with Karn in the sideboard, but that's all right. Okay, so this is what we're going to go with. I could put both spy glasses in the sideboard. No, I'll keep one in the main. <laughs> that was the dumbest game ever. No, that was a good game. You know, sometimes your, your opponent's really uh, skewed towards trying to beat your spells and planeswalkers and all that kind of stuff, negates and discard, and you just get a... Get a Scion of Urza in play, make some artifacts, and beat them down. JMC, welcome back. Thanks for that continued support. Saying love the great decks and awesome play. Well, thanks so much, JMC. All right, that's sub number two on the day. Oh, I have the statue in the main? Or, like, that's not in my sideboard? Hmm. I do have a Field of Ruin that I can get with, like, the Golos for a flipped-ass Kanta, but, of course, being uh, mono-black, we don't have enchantment removal too much. I guess we got we have Ugin and... 
Hmm. Ugin a meteor golem. I think the great creator is worse than Cyanoversa. So throw in great creator out there. Even though I do have Field of Ruin, I'm going to get Cabal Stronghold because where we're at, I think we want the extra mana. Making their spells cost two more could definitely be good if they're just sitting with four lands right now. That was a great call for the opponent to tick up, not minus. Good call, good call. Can't get rid of a land. So let's see, so that's five, six, seven. So I have seven mana right now. Hmm. Hey, good brother. I will wipe your bloodline. My schemes are never ending. So now that's six seventy nine. Kind of a tough call. Do we think they have artifact removal or not? Like, I have two good cards to grab. I have Spyglass to stop this Dragon God. And I have... I think we're going to do that. I will not so I have that, or I have Chromatic Lantern. They can... Start letting me activate Golos. Next turn. Come on, Bedevil. That was not a good hand for us to see. They got us. Yeah, I can't I can't really see us winning this. I am death's master. I need star of extinction. Next time. That was a great Ashiog, at least. At least that was a great Ashiok. Keeps them from flipping the Ascanta, of course, and we got rid of two Dragon Gods, another Chandra, and a Kefnet. I mean, we're still not going to win because of all this other stuff. But that was a great... 
Ashiok Mill. Time planes what my intellect is without limit. Remember your nightmares remain. Yeah, we had to have some bad re removal spells still in after sideboard. Just hoping my opponent had Legion War Boss or Thief of Sanity. I don't, I don't know why Ashiok's a lot louder than the other Planeswalkers. I don't know. My schemes have been foiled. <laughs> you have no weakness. I and just playing into their negate it. makes no sense there with the Karn. We have a whole lot of mana. Just had to hope that we draw something good the next turn also. Maybe get to double spell. You know, one of them gets negated, the other resolve kind of thing. Keeps them... You know, if they're if they're not playing Chandra because they're worried about like negate, then I do not feel pain. That's good for us. Discard's a different story though. All right, not the best league for us. But I don't think I don't think I'm going to win that matchup for how like the the cards my opponent was playing and the cards I'm playing, I don't think we're going to win that hardly ever. We have too many dead cards. Interestingly enough, I think our, our more important cards were like Dread Presence. Would have been a, a really nice one to have that last game with all the negates and duresses and stuff like that. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against Scape Shift. Oh, I, I don't know if I switched the Cat Caller last game. No. Uh, so the question is, what do you think about Scape Shift? Is it a fair deck or does it need some bans? Neither. It's certainly not a fair deck. But it doesn't need any bans. Banning banning something whenever rotations in two months is just... Probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It just doesn't, that doesn't need to happen whatsoever. There's absolutely no reason to ban anything right now in Standard. I know we went through a time there where... Deputy of Attention. I know we went through a time about... Um, for Standard about, uh, I don't know, what was it, one, two years ago? I mean, two years ago where there was a, a good amount of cards that were banned and Standard was not healthy or anything like that, but basically talking about bans and Standard just doesn't, it just doesn't need to happen these days. 
like until something drastically changes with the format. If I play Karn, I just get rid of my Dread Presence and kill the Karn, and that's annoying. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me. You will not but, uh, well. in this world. That's life. So do I want Spyglass for Teferi? You know they don't have a Teferi in there. What, what do you want me to do with Graph Digger's Cage, Norwazi? Like, why, why do you want Graph Digger's Cage in the current meta game? Like, why, why do you think that, that it's a travesty that I'm not playing Graph Digger's Cage? Graph Digger's Cage does absolutely nothing against the deck we're currently playing. Does, it? It literally has no text against the current deck we're playing. The only thing it does is it stops. Stops Command the Dread Horde that people aren't playing right now. Because the Command the Dread Horde deck um, struggles against this one. And stops Experimental Frenzy, but people aren't really playing red that much either. No, Spyglass doesn't do anything against Field of the Dead. There's no activated abilities on Field of the Dead. Hey, Dan. We're in a, we're in a pretty good spot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're winning this game. I, I'll be surprised if we... I mean, they have to, like, have another scape shift immediately before we find another sweeper, basically. Like, that's that's the way that we could lose if they find another scape shift before we find a sweeper. Just possible.
Oh, that's a way that we could lose, though, too. I suppose. Cutting down my Dread Presences. Oh yeah, and they have Blast Zone too. Yeah, actually, never mind. We can lose. I forgot about Blast Zone. And that deputy slowing me down was really annoying. Yeah, Field of Ruin would be a really good draw step that we could Field of Ruin the Blast Zone. That'd be really nice. I'm not sure how many lands they have left. So in the, in the graveyard they have uh, three, six... Nine. They only have nine in the graveyard, so it's not a ton. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 4, 19. So 19 lands there. I don't know how many lands they're running. Um, well, they, they did find their third scape shift, so we'll see if we find one of our sweepers. We'll see if we find another sweeper. So, I did like my chance of drawing a, a sweeper before they found one of their third, you know, their third or fourth scape shift. Them only having two scape shifts left in their deck, but they gone through a lot of lands. I should have. This is game one. I should have three sweepers that I'm drawing into here. So they have 23 zombies. If I kill three of them and gain six life, we're still kind of dead. All right, Legion's End, Ritual of Soot. Man, both those interaction things really kind of messed me up. Getting rid of the stronghold and clearing off the dread presences. Those both slowed me down quite a bit. If I had the stronghold still, I'd be able to play. Like, like you're not grabbing anything, are you? Yeah, Liliana's a draw two. Right, like a minus, sack two things, we draw two. I don't think Karn, I don't think there's an artifact that saves me in my side sideboard, right? No, there's not. So I, th so I guess it's this. Warrior Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. Get out of my way! Wait, I'll find a use for you later. Bleh. Alright, two more Legion's End, another Ritual of Soot. 
the Ashiox. Well, I did like where we were at, but they found they found one of their last two scape shifts, and we lost. Um, Noxious Grasp is just fine. Give me one Spyglass. Let's take out... So basically, the best thing Dread Presence does is, you know, it, it helps draw cards. Um, should I take that out, though? Yeah, I think it's too hard to to sideboard Blood Sun with just having Chromatic Lantern to cast it. I don't think that's worth it. I'd just rather just play more Ashiox if you want to be doing that. Alright, well, we got answers for Teferi. Like having Treasure Map. Treasure Map helps us dig and everything. So they have one of the Field of the Deads in their hand immediately. Yeah, normally with this deck. That's the what I struggle the most is 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 with Teferi end step um, scape shift, but th that game they did have more scape shifts than I had sweepers, which isn't normally the case. I have I have eight sweepers, they have four scape shifts, so you know I've I have twice as many sweepers as they have scape shifts, so usually I can have the scape shifts covered like that. But they just had three scape shifts there pretty quickly. Last game, it looks like they have those again. So every card's been a land. Six swamps in a row. The good news is Treasure Map did do a good job of uh, you know putting a you know putting three swamps down to the bottom, three cards that we really don't want to draw, three dead cards down to the bottom. Oh come on. Ugh, this field of ruin. It's killing me. That really hurts. Not only, like, we have to shuffle those swamps back. We're not going to be drawing extra cards here. Wow, that really hurt. Yeah, now the swamps are going back to the top, and now I don't have now I don't have card advantage, which is definitely something that we need. 
We need to, you know, we need to find our planeswalkers. This has not been our day. No, our our draws have not been good, and our opponent's draws are just awesome. Like, what's their last card? It's just Krasis, of course. This is just not our day today. My deck ideas for Exelon Treasure Constructed are just the normal standard decks right now. So they have all four scape shifts and another crisis. That's cool. With not drawing any any Karns or any kind of Planeswalkers or anything, I regret taking out the Dread Presences last game. It's my biggest regret, because all we were doing was just drawing Swamp after Swamp after Swamp. Dress away the cast down, and now they'll draw. Now they'll draw Soren to put the Champion of Dusk into play. We've seen this one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're right. It's just a momentary setback. It's just a few bad games. We'll get we'll get the next one. Most all these games, though, is just us running out of cards. That's something that doesn't look like we have enough card advantage in here. Hey, what's up, Rex? Thanks for that that uh, three month resub there. I think a good, good part of it maybe like the treasure maps like we just haven't really been having too many treasure maps recently like we had it like that last you know that last game I was, we had treasure map and it was looking good and everything um but our, that field of ruin that my opponent used was such a killer. No, we're not in the clear because we're not drawing any of our ways to pull ahead at all. I should keep that swamp in my hand for Dread Presence. There's no reason to play that swamp. I still had, with the Chromatic Lantern, I still had enough to blast zone and cast down.
Yeah, I should have kept this one in my hand. I guess you do. You know, card we haven't drawn at all. <laughs> we haven't drawn Ugin at all. We have two Ugins in here. Haven't drawn that a single one. I have no desire to play Mastermind Acquisition. The problem with playing Cast Down on the Lieutenant is if I do that, it'll be pretty difficult to kill the Sanctum Seeker. I don't have a lot of good removal for Sanctum Seeker. But they do need to still draw land before they can play Sanctum Seeker. And I can't just really take six. Or take three and go to six. See all these cards that cost four or more mana? Just drew zero of all of these. All of these. Just zero of them. And zero treasure maps. That game. But we had nine lands and some of these little things. This is not my day today. Not my day at all. Need a pile shuffle. Well, this hand's not ble not beating vampires, but I guess it's probably a better chance than going to five. Maybe it's the Karn Avatar. I haven't used Karn Avatar in a long time. Switch over to Karn Avatar. And I haven't used these Dugan sleeves before, so I switched over to the, the Ugin sleeves. So maybe that was the problem. I used to have Karn sleeves on here. So maybe my Karn Avatar doesn't like that I went to Ugin sleeves. Just all lands. That's all we can draw. We 
We know the card on the bottom of our library is a swamp, so nine nine cards, seven lands. They're not playing here anything like these last couple turns. They must have just a bunch of Champion of Dusks, which I can't beat. Or maybe they just have a whole lot of lands. Is that possible? Gonna grab Stronghold instead of Field of Ruin so that if we do draw like a four mana Karn, we can have a lot of mana to be able to use with it. If we ever decide to draw some spells, our opponent only has two on ones. Never mind. Gideon Jura, at your service. Your light will cleave the darkness. Man, what's it like to like have nothing in hand and draw a planeswalker? I don't even want to like put this up on YouTube. I was thinking this was going to be my best YouTube video of the day. I don't even want to put this up. Every fight makes me stronger. Well, we'll try one more, because we're going to be playing five matches. Alright, our very first time seeing Ugin in five matches. And we got Treasure Map. Treasure Map's one of our best cards, for sure. Their opponent has a poor hand that just got better. I guess I put the Golos to the bottom because of the Savage Stomp. But it wouldn't be a bad card normally. All right, 
We're keeping the battlefield clear. Still going to be kind of difficult to get out of. I am ancient and wise. Heed to my advice. I guess. I guess my plan's not the best. My plan was just to make a blocker. But they have Savage Stomp, so that plan's not actually very good. to figure out how to deal with this Registor Alpha. Another time, Planeswalker. Okay, okay. That helps. Awaken. Hey, Ale. Glad you're enjoying the deck. Happy to hear. Please stop. It is pretty nice having some solutions must be built. It is pretty nice actually having Ugin. Hey, look at that. We had Ugins, we won. First game in five matches that we've drawn either of those Ugins. And that certainly helped us win. All right, cry the carnarium out, grasp legions end in. Um, so it's not the worst. Elder spell out. Yeah, let's go sit over duress. And maybe another Golos in here over duress. All right, let's try this.
Thanks, bomb. I don't. I don't feel like my attitude is still proof. I no, I'm just. I'm pretty sad how this leak has gone so far. For us. Disappointed. No drawing cards. It's possible that they can't play any other creatures that they have right now because of the double marauding raptor. It's possible. If I play Dread Presence, we get to block and everything, but if they have, if they do still have Savage Stomp, that's bad for me. It's a good chance they just boarded out Savage Stomp, though, right? It's like, this is my best play against everything that's not Savage Stomp. Or, you know, like Lightning Strike or something like that. Otherwise, just Blast Owning Away the Marauding Raptors is better. And I hope they don't have removal. Considering we didn't play a creature last game. Hooray! So yeah, Double Marauding Raptor has some downfall to it. It has some downside to it. Um, if they just have other creatures in, in hand that they would all die. Yeah, so it's definitely a good thing we had that Noxious Grasp. All right, so the one thing about the mono black control deck here that I have to say is I it did seem like we struggled against vampires more this time than what we had in the past. Um kind of thinking Maybe the main deck Chromatic Lantern is it necessary? Maybe you just have the sideboard Chromatic Lantern to get with Karn for Golos and not play the main deck one. It definitely felt like we needed more, more card advantage cards, right? Like we didn't have... Like, all those games, we were just drawing land, 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 land. Like, we weren't... Like, even if our... Even if we, like, stabilized for the beginning, and, you know, like, we stabilized with, like, our opponent's hand in our hand, our opponents were just drawing cards and then beating us with those cards where we were just drawing lands and losing. And that was happening over and over and over again, which kind of is telling you that we don't have enough card advantage engines in here. Yeah, we weren't really getting treasure map too much. I wonder if I should just be playing a third Karn Cyanaverza instead of this Chromatic Lantern. I remember the last time that we played this, Cyanaverza being really, really good for us. And having Cyanaverza a lot more. No, I, I don't want Argyle's Bloodfast at all. I don't like that card at all. I think Argyle's Bloodfast is just worse than Dread Presence or Cyanaverza. I think I think I'd rather have an like yeah, like the fourth Dread Presence, fourth or third Cyanoverza. Something like that. Um, you know, a third Ugin, maybe. Ugin's just kind of great. Maybe I should just be playing three Ugins. 
Ugin just wins games. Honestly, I think that's what I would want to do, is just play a third Ugin. Yeah, I think that's that's something that I would want to do. Just just get this third Ugin in here. Um, that's kind of about it, though. Yeah, that's kind of about it. This deck would change in just a ton at rotation. Yeah, it would it would change a ton at rotation. Treasure map is the biggest card that like losing treasure map is a huge huge hit to this deck. And then obviously Cabal Stronghold like you know, this is another really big payoff for being monocolored is Cabal Stronghold with Golos there. So yeah, the rotation would change this deck a ton. Um all right, so that's that's mono black control. Um, you know, this is our our worst showing with the deck, but it just you know not you're not always gonna win, and I don't know I don't know if it was really like the deck's fault, like why we were why we were losing so much. It just our draws were pretty bad, <laughs> and our opponent's draws were pretty good, and it was really sad. And is disappointing, but um, this is still a sweet deck. You know, I played like I said at the beginning of the video. I played this deck here again after three days um, since the last time that we played it, which is a really quick turnaround for me because I like playing uh, a, a wide variety of decks. But I wanted to play this one again because of how much fun I had playing it the previous time, and um, and so that's. Uh, so that's another disappointing part to this because I was all looking forward to playing Mono Black Control again. I really wanted to play it again, and then that happened. Um, but oh well, there we go. So if you're watching the video on YouTube, hope you still liked it. Hope you still learned things and uh, um, everything like that. And if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd really appreciate that. But thanks for watching Mono Black Control here, and I will see you for the next video.